As new strains of coronavirus spread around the world, the government is now introducing new, tougher measures at the border by now requiring travellers to take two coronavirus tests once in Britain. It is unknown how the government will enforce the new testing policy. Well, in practical terms, it's going to mean quite a bit of expense. Um, we're now seeing that the 10-day quarantine, that anyone who's coming back into the country from a non-red list country, and they're going to now have to take two tests, one uh, on day two and one on day eight. Um, and that's before, that's after they've already taken a negative PR test to actually come into the country. So we're talking about three PCR tests. Now, these PCR tests aren't cheap. It's going to cost somebody you know, a significant amount of money to want to come back into the country. The move comes as experts warn new strains of coronavirus may be resilient to vaccines or could be more contagious or more fatal than current versions of the virus, and therefore it is important to prevent these strains from becoming prevalent in the UK. On top of the government's mandatory coronavirus tests to travellers, a new hotel quarantine policy will come into effect from the 15th of February. This applies to 33 red list countries where ministers believe are most at risk of spreading new strains of coronavirus to Britain. Over a month, if not maybe longer than that now, the government announced that they would be putting into place this hotel quarantine. But as of today, as of right now, there is still a single contract to be signed with any of the major hotel groups. Um, they've been talking to all of them. Um, the sticking point seems to be just how long the government will require these rooms for and how much they are going to actually have to pay for them. Well, actually not they pay for them, but how much the hotel can charge um, guests coming in. It's just too soon to tell whether or not we will be be able to get abroad. You have some travel experts saying that they think that we can actually see um, travel abroad um, this summer, later this summer, um, but then you have the government very much making sure that we're not making any plans right now. Um, they're really encouraging us to you know, not even think about perhaps even getting away at home, um, let alone going abroad. For now, Brits will remain in the dark as to whether travelling will be possible over the summer, as countries around the world decide how open their borders will be to tourists. Stephen Edgington, The Sun.